shall love you. again welcome to fresh for our prayer ministries where we keep the fire of the holy spirit burning today is the day the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it we thank god for his goodness his mercy, his life and kindness and tender mercies towards you and i we bless his holy name for giving us another opportunity to see another day 
and we are grateful, we are thankful, we bless his holy name. The Bible says it's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Why? Because his compassion filleth not. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness towards you and I. We thank God for his faithfulness. We thank God. And I believe that during this season of restoration, restitution and recovery, the Lord will do a mighty work in your life if you will not doubt but believe. That's what the Bible says, that hold on to the confession of your faith. Hold on. Hold on to it. Sometimes you'll be shaken by situations, by problems, by bad news, and the devil will do everything for to cause you to doubt whether God's words concerning you are true. But we are faith believers. We walk by faith and not by sight. We are not moved by what we see, feel, or hear. We are moved by the word of the Lord. So if God has said it, we believe it, and we will trust God until his word that he has spoken forth comes to pass in our lives. And I believe that the word of God that has gone forth, that he will restore you, he will cause restitution and recovery, it will certainly come to pass. Don't waver in your faith. Don't hold on to any doubt and unbelief. Only believe. Only believe and you shall see the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to join me today, right now, wherever you are, and just thank God, worship God, praise God, and shame the devil. Shame the devil by praising God. Shame the devil by acknowledging that God is king, God is sovereign over every challenge you are going through, over whatever the devil thinks he's doing to frustrate you. Let the devil know that you pay him no attention and that your eyes is fixed on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ has already overcome him. The Lord Jesus overcame the devil 2,000 years ago. He powers, rulers, spiritual wickedness in high places, and the devil's head has been crushed 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary in Golgotha. A long time ago, the, the Lord Jesus overcame the devil. The Bible says that I saw the devil fall like lightning. He's been defeated. So we are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. The Lord Jesus has already won the victory for you and I. And we just have to appropriate it in our lives through faith. And therefore, it doesn't matter how... It, intimidating the devil might be, how he's frustrating you, attacking you. Hold on, stand in faith and let the devil know that you know your right as a believer because you are on the winning side and God is on your side, victory is on your side, breakthrough is on your side, restoration is on your side, restitution is on your side. It is your season of recovery. There's nothing that he can do because he has already, I'm talking about he's already defeated. God has given you victory through Christ Jesus. Lift up your voice right now. Praise God and shame the devil. Praise God. The devil want to take our praise. The devil want to take away our worship. The devil want to take away your joy. He, he want to see you moody. He want to see you un unhappy. He want to see you crying. But don't play to the tune of the devil and don't dance to the rhythm of the devil. Let put to put your enemies to shame that though he slays me yet will i praise him the devil you can do your worst but i'll still give my best to god and as i give my best to god he will show up and show me his salvation in the name of jesus christ and i believe that that's what god will do for you right now as you begin to praise the lord somebody you need to praise god lift up your voice and thank god I know you are going through many attacks. I know you are going through many trials, many tribulations, many disappointments, many ups and downs, challenges here and there, bad news here and there. The devil has given you a very tough week. But I want you to know that you are still standing. You are still on top. God is on your side. They have done everything, but they can't crush you. You've done everything, but they can't defeat you because greater is God on your side. And today they thought they could steal your praise. But I came here to tell you, your peace will not be stolen by the devil. You will even give your highest praise to God. So join me right now as we go before God and just begin to lift up your voice and praise. Praise somebody. Praise ye the name of the Lord. For he is good and his goodness and his mercies endure forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's thank God and praise him. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. 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 We 
worship you, Jesus. We worship we worship you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you all. We worship. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Ratata de this, Rande de this, Rapada Bada 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 Praise, 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 praise. Let your praise ascend high like an incense to the Lord today. We worship you, Jesus. 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 We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. We praise your name. We praise your name, O God. We praise your name, O God. We praise your name, O Lord. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. We exalt your name, Master. That it is. And that it is. Rabba, 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 that it is. We worship you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. I glorify you, Jesus. I magnify you, your name, Lord Jesus. I uplift your name, Lord Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Receive all adoration. There's no God like you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us victory. Thank you for victory today. Thank you, victory over our problems, victory over our enemies, victory over their plans, their plots, their decisions and agendas, victory over their every struggle, victory over every curses, victory. Lord, we thank you. We bless you, Jesus. We glory, Jesus. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is bigger. Bigger. God, you are bigger. You are bigger. You are bigger. You are bigger than every issue, every problem, every challenge you are going through. The Lord is bigger. He gives you victory today. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We praise you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. My praise, my praise belongs to you, Jesus. The Lord is bigger. The Lord is greater. The Lord is almighty. The Lord is supreme. There's no God like our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. you to soak yourself right now in the blood of Christ.
that the Lord will preserve and protect you by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, that as you are about to wage war, that the precious blood of Jesus Christ will preserve you, protect you and your family, that the protection of the Lord will be mighty upon you, the covering of the Lord will be mighty upon you, that the blood of Christ, which serve as a Passover, shall be a Passover over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, I want you to plead the blood. Cover yourself, cover your son, cover your daughter, cover your husband, cover your wife, cover your job, cover your home, your family, cover your finances, your loved ones in the precious blood of Jesus, that the blood of Christ will preserve and protect you and your family from all evil. Begin to pray right now, pleading the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We pray, pleading the blood. We plead 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 the blood. The blood of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to, to preserve us, to protect us. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus serve as a covering. Let serve as a Passover for you, for your husband, for your wife, for your son, for your daughter, for your grandchildren, for your home, your apartment, your job. We plead. We plead. We plead the blood. We petition heaven to cover us right now with the blood. Let the blood keep us from all satanic, demonic attacks, every network of witchcraft. Let the blood frustrate every network of witchcraft to bring interruption, to cause you to be distracted, to cause you not to be able to hear the word, to cause you not to be able to pay attention, to cause the word not to be rooted in your heart. We cover ourselves, body, mind, in the blood of Jesus. We surround our entire atmosphere with the blood. Let there be a shift in the atmosphere. We plead the blood. We plead the blood in the name of Jesus. Cover your entire family in the precious blood of Jesus. Let every evil assignment of the enemy against you and your family be frustrated, be thwarted, be nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus. We plead. We plead. We plead the blood. Lord, we ask for divine protection through the blood, divine preservation through the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Preserve us by the blood of Jesus. Protect us by the blood of Jesus. Defend us by the blood of Jesus. Shield us by the blood of Jesus. Secure us, O oh Lord. Lord, hide us under your mighty wings. We take covering in your mighty wings. We take protection in your mighty wings. We take refuge in your mighty wings. O oh Lord, cover us under your mighty wings. O oh God, let us find refuge and protection under your mighty covering and your wings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 I want you to pray that the Lord will fill you up right now with his Holy Spirit and with the anointing of God. We need the power of God. We need the grace of God. There's so much God must do for us during, during this season. However, we can't do it by our own strength and by our own mind. We call upon the anointing of God to come upon us right now. The power of God to come upon us right now. The fire of God to come upon us right now. To strengthen us to pray. To strengthen us to believe. To strengthen our faith. To strengthen our hopes. To strengthen our confidence in God. To strengthen us to have faith in prayer. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that Lord strengthen me by the empowerment and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I pray for fresh fire, fresh anointing and fresh oil. Begin to pray right now that the Lord will baptize you. We pray for fresh oil. We pray for fresh oil. Fresh oil. We pray for fresh oil. We pray for fresh oil. We pray for fresh strength. We pray for fresh grace. Oh Lord God Almighty, baptize me, Lord. Baptize us, Lord. Pour your spirit right now upon us, Lord. We need fresh grace, fresh unction, fresh anointing, fresh power in the name of Jesus. Infuse us with your power. Infuse us with your power. Infuse us with your power. Give us the enabling grace, O Lord, that tonight, this morning, this afternoon, we'll be empowered to pray. We'll be empowered to believe your word. We'll be empowered to hold on to your word and walk by faith and not by sight. Rapa Rapa Zukadaba, Repandi de Sekete, 
menka daba daba repa zukata ya daba repa shante rebo sata repa daba daba intere de seke debe rapa para baba ba enkara bazuka da yante zeke debo sanda daba baba zande de de seka daba shende de busa rapa basika tayada repa sika tayada ba in the name of jesus we pray for power in the name of jesus we pray for anointing in the name of jesus we pray for grace we pray for strength in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we pray amen and amen and amen we give glory and we give honor we are going to pray right now asking for mercy and forgiveness that the lord will show us mercy and forgive us that this morning this afternoon this evening wherever you are no sin will be a hindrance to your prayers no sin will be a hindrance to your blessing no sin will be a hindrance to your deliverance begin to ask the mercy and forgiveness the bible says that if we say we are without sin we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us however if we confess our sins it's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness we ask for mercy forgiveness and pardon even right now any sin we committed in the course of the week in the course of the day we repent we turn away from them and we ask that the precious blood of jesus christ should cleanse us from all our wicked ways or evil ways begin to pray right now in the name of jesus have mercy 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 jesus have mercy have mercy have mercy jesus forgive me lord forgive us lord cleanse us lord purge us lord purify us lord sanctify us lord create in me lord create in us oh god a clean heart and you and the right spirit within us we pray for the mercies of god we pray for forgiveness we pray for the mercies pray and ask for mercy 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 through the blood 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 pardon through the blood forgiveness through the blood cleansing through the blood oh pardon cleanse us lord cleanse me lord wash me lord sanctify me lord with the blood of jesus whatever sin i committed in the course of the day sins of thought deeds and words action and reaction jesus have mercy Jesus have mercy. Jesus have mercy. Jesus have mercy. Jesus have mercy. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Bless me, Lord Jesus. Wash me, Lord Jesus. Pardon me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you take us to Hegai and let us see what the Lord has for us today? Hegai 1 verse 6. Hegai 1 verse 6. It reads, Thank you, Jesus. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourself but no one is born. And he who earns wages, earns wages mm. to put into the bag with holes. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. This is very, very important. And um, during this season, the Lord is showing us mercy. Mercy. Anytime God wants to bring deliverance, he brings forth his word. And by the revelation of his word, he brings also deliverance. He brings deliverance. And the Lord has been, from yesterday, dealing with us with a spirit of begging and borrowing. There's a spirit that causes people to become beggars and borrowers and cause them to be impoverished, always lacking and always wanting and never having. You never have. Why? Because it's a spiritual state. It's a spiritual state. And if you enter into the astral realms, there are people who have been made beggars. And they are dependent on people for survival. So when this happens in the fiscal plane, it doesn't matter the status, the success, achievement, career, of the person in the fiscal realm you realize that their profession their skills their talent their degrees their qualification their certification does not 
reflect with the hardship and difficulties they are going through. You would have thought that with such an intelligent person, they should be ahead and be the one in charge. With such degrees, they should have been getting a very good job and making it, but it's not reflecting. Why? Because there is a spirit that is monitoring and attacking and influencing people to make them beggars and borrowers. And when this spirit takes hold of you, if you don't pray and begin to ask God and cry out to God for deliverance, I'm telling you, it will ravage and destroy your life in impoverishment. Impoverishment. And today we want to look at some of the things that the devil uses to cause people to become beggars and how we will cry out to God to deliver us, to deliver us. Can you read for us um, Judges chapter 6? We are dealing with the spirit of begging and borrowing, the spirit of begging. Turn your Bibles with us, with me right now to Judges chapter 6. Verse 3. Judges chapter 6, verse 3. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, so it was whenever so, Israel... Mm -hmm. So it was whenever Israel had sown. So it was whenever Israel sown. The Midianite would come up, also Amalekites, and the people of the east would The Midianites, the Amalekites... And the people, the people from the, the east, east would, would come up against them. Against them. Immediately they sow. Immediately you sow. And you are preparing yourself. You are preparing yourself to receive back your harvest, your dividends, your profit. These spirits that want to keep you begging and borrowing and impoverished will show up from nowhere. And what do they come to do? They would encamp against them. They would encamp against them. And destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza. And leave no substance for Israel. And leave no substance for Israel. And uh, neither sheep nor donkey. For they would come up with their livestock and their tents coming in numerous as what? As low cost. As what? Low cost. Low cost. So they come in as low cost. And today I'm going to teach you how this spirit of begging and borrowing is influenced by the spirit of low cost. That is eating and destroying. Now, I was thinking that when they sold and this media night and the people of the okay. east came they came to steal their produce and go with it no, they, they just came in to destroy they were not interested in keeping or taking from you there are spirits that interest is just to make sure that every good thing that must happen in your life as it pertains to finances properties is destroyed they are destructive spirit destroying spirit and they wait until you have labored and sold and when you are expecting to reap harvest they will show up and devour they will not even use it they will come in and decimate destroy every good thing in your life and cause you to start all over again to sow. Then when it's time for harvest, they come in. And some of us, that has been our life. You will hear, you will know, when this spirit of begging and borrowing or locust demon is operating in your life, it will cause you never to have enough. Never to what? To have enough. You will never have enough. 
oh, here, here and there, you get one help from here, one here, but it's in, never enough to help you to do what you have to do with it, to be ahead or to be satisfied. It's never enough. You always never have enough. It doesn't matter how much money you make in the month. It's never enough to pay the bills. It's never enough to take care of the family. It's never enough to settle bills and more. And, you know, so you realize that it's never enough. It plagues you with never enough. Never enough. Mm. Oh, I got money. I got a new job. They are paying me this, but it's still never enough because the debt ratio, the debt that I have, the bills that I have with all the two jobs, still never enough. Because I have too many expenses still unfulfilled. So you are always stressing, always thinking about how, how to make another money. Always, 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 always worried about finances. Always. Why? Because it will cost you never to have enough. Immediately you have enough and you are going to say, Amen, praise the Lord. Another problem will come. Swallow it up. Never. Secondly, never satisfied. It will never cause you to be what? Satisfied. You, have you been hungry before and you get something to eat? But when you, 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 got, you just got enough, but it was not, you were not satisfied. You could realize I'm still hungry, but I've eaten, but I'm not satisfied. That's what they put you through. You will get just enough to get through, but never satisfied. You cannot come to a place to say, I'm satisfied. You are never satisfied. When in terms of finances, you are never satisfied. They will place you in a place and you look at your life and you've never been financially satisfied. Every day, there's a need, there's a want, there are bills, there is debt, there's something ahead of you that you must, you are always chasing to, to, to settle and you are never getting there. You settle this bill and this the other bill will come. You settle this and another problem will come. You are never satisfied. It doesn't matter. Even when people give you money, they will not give you what will satisfy you to do the things that you have to use it for. And they will make sure that nobody comes to help you to make you satisfied or nobody comes to help you to bring you out of pit. It will always cause you not to have enough, never to be satisfied. And it's also cause you to beg for what is rightfully yours. The spirit of begging and borrowing. What is rightfully yours and must come to you. If you don't fight for it, you'll be denied. You are qualified. You are satisfied. You deserve that promotion. You deserve that raise. You deserve that increment. You deserve that job, but they will not give it to you until you really fight it is already yours you are entitled to this benefit and they are not willing to give it to you to the point that i'm talking about somebody throughout the whole year the stimulus check you are entitled to some of them it has not come through you file your tax you are entitled to it it hasn't come through you are entitled to some uh, insurance money it, it has not been given to you some inheritance within your own family that was be willed to you still they are not giving it to you it will if you don't rise up and fight it, what is yours it will deny you you are in the u.s you are a citizen all right but you are not getting opportunities the strangers are coming from strange land and are getting ahead of you because it will do what make sure that even what you are entitled to they prevent you it is the spirit that want to put you in the cycle of borrowing and begging always because it's it's a, a demon of low cost a devouring destructive spirit always in need always lacking unsatisfied always wanting and when we talk about the spirit of begging not only does it cause you to beg but you start begging for love you beg people to love you. You beg people to respect you. You beg people for attention. You beg people for acceptance. Everything you must beg before people give to you. You've come to a place where people don't...
doesn't occur to people automatically to say, let us promote it, let us help it. Let, you have to beg for every single thing. Even you are married and you have to beg your husband to love you. You have to beg your husband to be intimate with you. You have to beg your friends to, to accept you. You have to beg your family members. What is this? It is a spirit. It's a spirit that you must fight it off. That you must break yourself from its chains and its shackles and its strongholds in the name of Jesus. And today, the Lord Jesus will deliver you. See, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in, the in the name of Jesus, today, today I, declare, I declare, I decree, I decree that, enough that enough is enough. Is enough. I command, I command the, spirit the spirit of locusts, of locusts the, spirit the spirit of destruction, of destruction the, spirit the spirit of begging, of begging and, borrowing, and borrowing, plaguing my life, plaguing destroy my life. My life. In, my the in the name of Jesus, let the curse, let the, curse, let the, bewitchment, let the bewitchment on my life, on my life. Break, in Jesus name. break in Jesus' name, break in Jesus' name, break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus name. Break in I release myself. I I release my soul. I release, I release my, soul. my spirit I release from, the my chains, from the chains, from the shackles, from the, shackles, from the, cords, from the cords, from the bondage, from the, bondage, from the, stronghold, from the stronghold of this demonic spirit. This demonic in the name of Jesus, name I rebuke Jesus. you, you demonic spirit. I demonic spirit. And I cast you out of my life. And I cast you you will not hold me in bondage anymore. You will not hold me in bondage. I am a free individual. I am a free individual. Set free by Jesus Christ. Set free by Jesus Christ. To walk in divine abundance. To walk in divine From abundance. From today. From today. I refuse to beg. I refuse to I refuse beg. to borrow. I refuse to I refuse to be in lack. I refuse to be in lack. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are coming out. Amen. You are coming out. Amen. You are coming out. Amen. You see, this you have to come to that place of restlessness and say, Enough is enough. This curse, this yoke, this spirit must be destroyed in my life. In the name of Jesus. Say, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. I curse this curse. I curse this curse. I curse this witchcraft. I curse this witchcraft. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my life. Out of my destiny. Out of my destiny. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You must be aggressive. Don't be listening to me. Be very proactive. Amen. Life and death, the Bible says. Life and death. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Life and death lies in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat the fruit. Job 22 talks about the fact that you shall declare a thing and you shall be established. 22 verse 28, you must declare it that I refuse to be a beggar, I refuse to be a borrower, I refuse to walk in poverty and lack. I curse this spirit out of my life, I break this curse off my life, and from today. You, this unclean spirit, you will not tie me up anymore. You will not tie me Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of the locust. Every spirit of the I curse you to die. I curse you to die. Die in my life. Die in my life. Die in my life. Die in my life. I release myself. I release myself. From your bondage and your captivity. From your bondage and your captivity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hold on. The Midianite, the Amalekite, the Amalekite and, and the, the people, people from the east. Immediately, Israel, the children of God, will sow and are getting ready for harvest. They will show up. And when they show up, they come in to destroy. What have you sown? And then you are willing, you are expecting some major breakthroughs, major turnovers, major favors and opportunities only to realize that everything you labored and sweat for and, and put every resource and sacrifice for has all been destroyed. Start all over again. I command that curse over your life to be broken. Put your right hand on your head and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Let the curse. Let the curse. Of difficulty. Of difficulty. Let the curse. Let the curse. Of hardship. Of hardship. Let the curse. Let the curse. Of vain labor. Of vain labor. In my life. In my life. Break. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I release myself. I release myself. I lose myself. I lose I myself. I free myself. I free 
from the curse of vain labor, unfruitful labor, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. After today, as you hear the sound of my voice, God is breaking some chains and curses and yokes of your life. You will never be the same again. We are talking about serious matters here. Read Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. You see, there are some of us, it doesn't matter how much people we are begging give us. Immediately, the money comes to you. It will be devoured. So sometimes the issue is not being kind to a person who is a beggar or a borrower. But if you don't teach them, that's what I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you because it's not how much job you get, how much degrees you have, how much qualification you get, how much promotion you get. If I don't teach you to deal with this spirit, it doesn't matter how much breakthroughs you experience. This Midianite, Amalekite, and evil spirit of the locusts will come and devour everything. And so some group of people, if they come to you to beg you today and you give to them, they'll come tomorrow. They'll come the next day. They'll come to, because it's a spirit that is controlling them. It doesn't matter how much you give to them. They will come back again and again and again to beg and borrow and never be able to pay you back because their lives are in bondage. They are in chains. They are in shackles. Not because they love to beg. Not because they love to borrow. Not because because they love to be impoverished. But a curse is following them. A spirit is following them. And everything that they touch, this spirit, this Midianite, this Amalekite will come and destroy it. I know a man who has been begging about three years ago. And the money that was given to him was enough to buy a house or to build himself a house to so that you not beg and be able to do something profitable with his life. But anytime you give him the money, Midianites, Amalekite, people of the East, the locals will come in and destroy it. And then they'll come back, you'll come back and beg you again. And you're wondering, with all this money I gave you, what did you do with it? So you are wasting your time. And, and if you don't take care, if you are the one who always blesses such a person, if you don't take your time, the devil will use such a person to deplete all your money because they'll come again and they come again. So sometimes you have to stop and say, this time I'm not going to give you your money. Not because I don't want to be generous to you, but I want you to now fix the root, the origin of the problem, the source of the problem. We must break this curse. We must break this and uproot this spirit out of your life. Otherwise, I'm wasting my money on you. And you are impoverishing me. It has impoverished you and it's trying to impoverish me also. So we need to deal with the issue. You have to confront what is confronting you and overcome what is overcoming you so you can walk in your liberty and your emancipation. It doesn't matter how much. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm changing career. You can change whatever career. You can move from nursing to IT, from IT into doctor, from doctor into master's, into doctorate. You can get all the degrees like the thermometer and you'll still be as poor as anybody. You'll still be as wretched as anything. You'll still be begging us. Why? Because it is a spirit that comes in to destroy. You realize that when Israel sold, the spirit came in. And destroyed everything. So the question is that you are not being lazy. You are hard working. You are putting in the effort. You are putting the sacrifice. You are even getting some money. But they will come and destroy it at the end of the day. And put you in the visual cycle of always doing it again and again and again. Never having enough. Never being satisfied. Again, before you can survive. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I cry out to you today. Out to deliver, you. Me. Deliver, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me, me. Deliver from, me. This from this curse. Deli- from, from this stronghold. From this deliver me deliver from me. this evil spirit. This Set me loose. Set me, Set me free. Set me loose. Set me at liberty. Set me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. As we are saying this, you have to confess it because deliverance is taking place right now. Yes. Deliverance is taking place. As people are listening and they are keen into this, God is setting them free. Yes. Read. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. 
Mark 10, verse 46. Now they came to Jericho. Now they came to Jericho. As he went out of Jericho. When he went out of Jericho he, with his disciples, Jesus. And a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus. There was a blind Bartimaeus. Sat by the road. Sat by the roadside. What was he doing? Begging. Begging. Blind Bartimaeus by the roadside. What? Begging, begging, begging. He, be, he was a beggar. Dependent on people for survival. Begging on the roadside. Depending on people for survival. If you don't give the beggar the money, he will not survive. He will not be able to do nothing for himself. He was what? Begging. And spiritually, that's how some of us, they have made us spiritually. Beggars! Reliant and dependent on friends. Reliant and dependent on family members. Reliant and dependent on our associates. Begging always before we can survive. Blind Bartimaeus, beggar. Until he came into contact with Jesus. And the Lord Jesus Christ went of his problem and removed the blindness, took it away, and he had his sight. From that day, he was no more a, blind, a beggar. He started walking and started moving forward with his future. May the, the source of your begging and the source of your borrowing, may it be a curse in Amen. Jesus' name. May it be Amen. a curse in Jesus' name. Amen. May it be a curse in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord Jesus, let the Lord Jesus, let the Lord Jesus cure you, deliver you, set you free from every begging spirit, every borrowing spirit, every impoverished spirit, every spirit of poverty and locusts. May the Lord Jesus deliver you today. Amen. Let the Lord Jesus deliver you today. Amen. Receive your deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. He came into contact with blind Bartimaeus. A beggar. Not only blind, but begging. Jesus says that, no, you can't, you can't. If I give you money, because you are blind, you will still come back and beg. Your problem is not the begging. The problem is something has made you blind so that you will constantly be begging. The issue is the blindness resulting to the beg. Let me cure you from the from the source, the origin of the problem. That's why we are going to the root. The curse, the curse in your mother's house, the curse in your father's house, the curse from your family spirit altar that has impoverished everybody in the family and nobody has been able to lift up their head and everybody's begging and borrowing for survival. Your mom had to beg, your father had to beg, your brothers and sisters are begging and dependent on people. Everybody in the family, nobody is financially independent, financially sufficient, some financial moving ahead and it's a spirit of poverty, a spirit spirit of lack, a spirit of hardship and difficulty. Today, whoever you are hearing the sound of my voice, I break the curse of your life. I break the curse of your life. I break the curse of your life. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father every, curse every curse from my mother's house, from my, mother's house, from my father's house, from my mother's that, house that has plagued me has with begging and borrowing, let the curse from my mother's house, from my, mother's from my father's house, house my father's plaguing my finances, break in Jesus' Jesus name. Break in Jesus, Break in Jesus name. Break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus' name. See, I release myself. I release, I release myself. I release from the altar of begging. I release myself from the altar of borrowing. I release myself from every ancient altars. Generational curse. I release myself. I disconnect myself. In the name of Jesus. I will not beg anymore. I will have more than enough. In the name of Jesus. Beggar. Beggars, beggars, beggars. Now you have become a notorious beggar. Some of us have become a professional beggar. <laughs> professional beggar is when now you have moved into the creditors, creditors, and then you are you are just getting credit and getting credit and getting credit, which you are not paying and it's stressing you. And then you begin to take loans from banks and and, and, and you have become a, a, a professional. Not not from the local level. You've even gone to the professional. And the, the more you are getting loans, the more impoverish your entry because you took loan to go to school and now they are still demanding the student loan and still you don't you, you can't find a job let alone to pay that debt and then you start buying things on debt on credit debt and so your whole life is surrounded by debt begging borrowing financial hardship and difficulty but today whoever you are the curse is being broken Amen. The curse is being broken. Amen. The curse is being broken. Amen. The curse is being Amen. the stronghold is being destroyed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That spirit that follows you, I disconnect you in Jesus' name. Amen. I disconnect you in Jesus' name. Amen. I disconnect you in Jesus' name. Amen. Peace 
Be free. Be loose by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. From the spirit of begging, borrowing. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Luke 16, verse 19. Luke 16, verse 19. Luke 16, verse 19. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 16, verse 19. Luke 16, verse 19. Mm -hmm. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen Amen. Mm -hmm. and fed sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, mm -hmm. designed to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar what? The beggar died. The what? The beggar died. The beggar. The beggar. Now, in this story, we realize that the rich man was an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. The rich man didn't fear God, didn't serve God, and he lived his life anyhow carelessly, mm -hmm. but he was rich. And then the, a Christian, a believer who feared the Lord was reduced into what? The spirit of begging had what? Arrested him. Mm -hmm. This spirit can arrest you. Oh, you pray in tongues. Oh, you fast. You pray. No, no. It will arrest you. It will take hold of you. That's what you have to deal with your foundation. The family you are coming from. How are people in the family breaking through, succeeding? Or are they beggars and are, or are they struggling? He was a Christian. He was a believer. He feared God. He even went to heaven, the bosom of Abraham, paradise. But on this earth, he was a, 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 a beggar to the core. That he was now competing with what? Dogs. Dogs to struggle to survive. The, the cramps. Can you read, it, read from that part? Verse, verse 20. Verse 20. But there was a certain beggar. But there was a certain what? Beggar. A certain beggar. Spiritually, they have made you a beggar. They don't care whether... That's why it is very important that you know your foundation. You know your roots. You know where you are coming from. And the spirit within thy family. Otherwise, if you don't deal with your foundation and you don't deal with your background, your background will put your back on the ground. Your foundation will cause, make you sure that you don't rise to certain limits. And some of us, we are putting aside where we are coming from, the family curse in that family and the altars and the powers in that family that has so much impoverished. You think by just traveling, you have disconnected yourself from that impoverished family background you are coming from. Or you think because you can now speak the American or the British or Canadian English or French, so you have come around, come away. You, you think demons respect degrees and respect English and, and, and school. No, 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 no. If you don't confront them in the name of Jesus and disconnect yourself from the powers of darkness operating through evil altars and foundational spirit in your family, they will impoverish you and cause you to lose every good thing that comes into your hands. Impoverished. To the point that this man was fighting with dogs, a Christian, a believer, a child of Abraham, who should have walked in the blessings of Abraham, was now begging. You see Christians begging unbelievers. Begging before they can survive. Begging before they can pay their bills. Begging. And the unbelievers rather are getting ahead. A rich man. And now he's using his dogs to now compete with you. I pray that today, let there be a reversal. Amen. Say, this is an error. This is an error. This is an error. This is an error. I refuse to be a beggar. I refuse to be a beggar. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I refuse to be a beggar. I refuse to be a beggar. I refuse to be...
a borrower. I refuse to be a borrower. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the curse of begging. Let the curse of begging. And borrowing. And borrowing. Over my head. Over my head. Over my life. Over my life. Break in Jesus' name. 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 Break in Jesus name. Break in Jesus name. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. From my mother's house. From my mother's house. From my father's house. From my father's house. Evil altars. Evil altars. Satanic altars. Satanic altars. Demonic altars. Demonic altars. Demonic Poverty, of poverty, impoverishment, impoverishment borrowing, and, uh, and borrowing and begging. Borrowing and begging. I disconnect myself by the blood of Jesus. I disconnect myself by the power of the Holy Ghost. I disconnect myself in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be a beggar. I refuse to be a beggar. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You must be desperate. And I pray that the Lord disconnect you right now. Amen. From the chains. Amen. Say, let the chains break. Let the chains break. Let the cord break. Let the cords break. I will not beg again. I will not beg again. I will not struggle I will again. not be a beggar. I will not be a beggar. Begging to survive. Begging to survive. Begging. To survive. Begging. To survive. Begging. Begging. Always at the mercies of people. Always. Always at the mercies. Always at the mercies of people. Oh, can, can, can I come and stay with you for a little bit? Uh, can I come and stay with you? You are always begging to find even a place to lay your head. Begging to be able to put food on the table. Begging to be able to settle your bills. Begging to be able to take care of your family. Begging for attention. Begging, begging, begging. It's a spirit. And today, let that yoke, that, that say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind every begging spirit. I bind every begging spirit. I bind every borrowing spirit. I bind every borrowing spirit. And I cast it out of my life. And I cast it out of my life. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus is setting somebody free today. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ is setting you loose and free. Amen. You are coming out of begging. Amen. You are coming out of borrowing. Amen. You are coming out of poverty. Amen. You are coming out of impoverishment. Amen. Financial lack and want. You are coming out. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. At least I've experienced it a little bit. And poverty is a curse. And may the Lord the Almighty begin to open the heavens to you and pour his blessing upon you in the name of Jesus. I just want to lay the foundation of this. I'm laying the foundation. The Lord is within these two days, today and tomorrow, we are dealing with, we started on Friday, Saturday, we are dealing with these financial issues and the Lord is setting captives free. The Lord is breaking curses. The Lord is breaking use. The Lord is causing somebody to come out from family bondages and captivity and this spirit that follows and monitors your life, it will not have any access into your life anymore. And, and, and the Lord will release you to take the treasures that belongs to you. And you will walk in your high places, in your worthy places. You will work, you will, you will operate in your prosperity in the mind of Jesus Christ. Take us to 2 Kings 4 verse 1. 2 Kings 4 verse 1. 2 Kings 4 verse 1. 2 Kings Four verse one. Second Kings. Deliverance four. from the spirit of begging and borrowing. Continue. Second Kings four verse one. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet. A certain woman whose husband was a prophet. Cried out to Elisha. Cried out to Elisha, the saying, man of God, saying, "Your servant, my husband, is dead. Your servant, who was my husband, is dead." And you know that your servant feared the Lord. Oh, he feared the Lord. He loved the Lord. He was zealous for God. Ah, I've not seen anybody who loves the Lord like this. And the creditors is coming to take my two. And the creditors, he was he was borrowing, he was begging, begging his creditors, borrowing from his creditors, and he was so much poor and broke to the point that he couldn't pay his creditors, and he died in his poverty. In fact, poverty is what killed him fast. Poverty. He became so poor that when he became sick, they couldn't even get a hospital to take him. They couldn't even buy medication for him. Poverty will kill you fast. Poverty will create confusion between you and your husband. Begging and borrowing will cause people to disrespect you and look down on you. 
poverty will cause you to even sin. Do you know how many people have entered into sin? Because of financial hardship and poverty. The man will tell you, you know what? I know you are begging me and you want me to give you $500 because they are kicking you out from your apartment and I'm willing to, you know, give you my $500. You know, I'm, I'm being, I'm giving you cash and you are giving me kind. There's what's called cash and kind. You want cash from me, but you can give me kindness and your kindness is let me sleep with you. If I can have sex with you, then I'll give you the money you are requesting. And then the woman is confused. I'm a Christian. I'm a virtuous woman. I don't want to fornicate. I, I love the Lord. But at the same time, my bills, if I don't pay, the landlord is kicking me out. What am I going to do? And this guy too says he's going to help me. But unless, on condition that he sleeps with me, how many young women have fallen into the temptation of fornication because of the begging spirit? And people took advantage to help them, but to use them. How many people are standing on the street as prostitutes? You listen to their stories. Not all of them are having bad character. But they were pushed by poverty, begging and borrowing that they couldn't take it anymore. And say, so, you know, I have to have a way of at least getting some income. So I'm going to sell my body on the street and get money to take care of my family. Because I'm sick and tired of begging and nobody's willing to help me anymore. So right now I'm selling my body. Have sex with me and give me money. People have been driven into the street. To, so when you see somebody who is a prostitute, don't just judge them. Do you know what took them there? Begging and poverty and borrowing spirit can drive you into some, some ungodly behavior. Do you know how many people have become armed robbers, have become thieves? They, they steal, not because they want to steal, but because there's the spirit of hardship, difficulty, financial challenge has compelled them into fraudulence into cheating, into stealing, to survive. People are trying to survive. So they are doing every mischievous things because poverty, poverty will cause you to do things you would never thought you could do. Poverty, financial hardship, begging and borrowing. You'll be so much stressed up that the thing you never thought you could, you will do it. Because if you don't do it, shame and reproach is coming to you. But today I pray for you. Let that curse be broken. Amen. Let that curse be broken. Amen. Let that curse be broken. Amen. Let that spell be broken. Amen. Let that chain be broken. Amen. You shall not beg again. Amen. You shall not borrow again. Amen. I break the curse. I break the curse. I release you from that bondage in the name of Jesus. May the Lord set you free, somebody. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord deliver you from that spirit of hardship and difficulties. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Continue. My husband loved the Lord. My husband was feared the Lord. My, my husband served the Lord. He was a Christian. Today, many, you know, there's a part in the scripture who says that I've been young and old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. If you don't pray, you will beg for bread. If you don't pray, you'll be reproached. And today, people read that scripture and they are saying that ah, this is what the scripture is saying, but in my life, I'm begging, I'm borrowing. What is going on? Why? Because the, you haven't dealt with the spirit. You haven't dealt with this altar. Altars in your mother's house. Altars in your father's house. Witchcraft spirits are, that are impoverishing everybody in the family. And now you claim to be a Christian. I'm, I'm born again. I'm a new creation. Behold, all things are gone and everything has become new. If everything has become new, how come you are still swimming in that poverty swimming pool? How come you are still begging and blowing to survive? How come you are so broke that you can't take off of yourself and dependent? You are struggling just as your mom struggled. You are struggling just as your father struggled. Why? Because there's a spirit that is still operating and influencing your life. Say, in the name of Jesus, name every, of spirit Jesus. Of every spirit of poverty, every spirit of lack, every spirit, every spirit of, of hardship spirit from my father's from family, my father's from my father's family, from my, father's family, from my mother's family, Every altar, every altar of, poverty, of poverty, of begging, of, begging, of, borrowing, of borrowing, in my mother's house, in my, mother's in my father's house, house in my father's I break house. myself loose. I break, I myself, break myself free. I, break I disconnect myself, myself I disconnect with the blood of Jesus. Today I receive 
Today I receive the blessing of Jesus Christ. The blessing of, the Jesus blessing Christ. of Abraham. The blessing of my, Abraham. Life is transformed my life is transformed by the truth of God's word. By the truth of I refuse God's to word. be a beggar. I refuse to and be I refuse to be a borrower. And I refuse to be a borrower. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So shall it be. So shall it be. In your life. Amen. Amen. You can say amen. You can say amen, amen. and receive it. In Jesus' name. Continue. Begging and brewing. And the creditors is coming to take my two sons to be his slaves. The creditors have come. Today, some of us are running from creditors. Every single day, we are receiving meals. Creditors yes. come in and phone calls. Some people, they can't. They, 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 every day, they are calling your phone, demanding. And then if you don't pay, they begin to garnish the little money you are having because you, you are not paying. So they are garnishing. Every man you come before you can even get it, they garnish it. A spirit is tormenting you. You run from one state to another state, same problem. You move from one continent to another continent, same problem. One, one state or one nation to another nation. Please stop running. It is time to confront what is confronting you. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the Ghost. anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of I the confront. Ghost. I confront. Every locust in my mother's house. Every locust in my mother's Every house. Every locust in my father's house. Every locust in my Every father's house. Spirit Every spirit of poverty. Every spirit of begging. Every spirit of begging. Every spirit of borrowing. Every spirit of borrowing. I come up against you. I come up against you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I crush your power. I crush your power. I crush your power. I crush your influence. I crush your influence. Of my life. Of my life. I release myself. I release myself. I lose myself. I lose I deliver myself in the name of Jesus. 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 Loose me and let me go. Loose me and let me go. Free me and let me go. I will never borrow again. I will never beg again. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my provider. The Lord is my sustainer. The Lord is my sustainer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No more a beggar. No more a beggar. Blind Bartimaeus, a beggar. No more. Continue. Verse, verse 2. So Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in so your So now house? the creditors came and they realized that this guy has died in his poverty. So sometimes when you go to people's funeral and people are crying, not everybody's crying because they've lost a loved one. Some people are crying because the, the person who is dead has died with their money and they didn't pay their money. And therefore they are crying that, oh man, you, you couldn't pay my money. Now what am I going to do? But with these creditors, they came to the funeral and discovered that this guy is dead. And they said, whether you are dead or not, we will use your children as a collateral. We will use your children to pay your debt. So now they came to take his children as slaves. That's what has happened. This spirit of begging and borrowing that plagued our parents, plagued our fathers and mothers, our grandparents. Now they have taken us as slaves. And now we are working. So you see, some of us, if we go through history, our parents were so impoverished that the, the struggle they went through to raise us up as single parent and the difficulties we saw our parents go through to raise us up because they were they went through hardship, they went through pain, they sold everything before they could help us to grow. And then when it was our turn, the spirit says that now your children will become a slave to me. A slave to me is that you, at least I'll let you go to school. You, I'll let you come into some amount of money. But because you're a servant to me, because I, I was in control and in charge of your grandmother and your mother, now every time you receive the money, this Amalekite, this Midianite, this evil spirit from the East Locust will come and steal from you. So now you are working for the creditors. And the creditors are the demons, the household spirit altars, the household witches and wizards, the household familiar spirit, the household altars that are now garnishing your money. So you have gone to school. You are having a good job. 
but still you don't know where your money is going to. Because the spirit in your foundation, in your mother's house, your father's house, is still garnishing it. They are collecting their tax. They are connecting. They are co you are a slave. Because nobody has delivered you from the debt created by your parent to this evil spirit. This man was a godly person. So don't, don't be too religious. I'm a Christian. I pray in tongues. I'm a new Christian. All things are passed. No weapon from against me shall ever prosper. You are seeing all these good things and still you, you look at your life and there's no testimony. You, want me to read that part? you can say, read it again. Say your servant, my husband. Is your dead. servant. Your, and you know that your servant feared the Lord. He feared the Lord. He feared the Lord. And yes, still. Yes, still. He died prematurely. He, he died. Do you know what killed him? Headache. Thinking about his creditors. Thinking about his debt. Thinking about lack and want. He, too much stress was upon him. He was, he was He loved the Lord Almighty. But poverty, lack, difficulty stressed him until he died and left a widow, left his two children because he couldn't take it. And yes, so as a Christian, if you don't pray to God to teach you godly principles to come out of financial difficulties, hardship, and borrowing and begging, I'm telling you, you'll be a Christian all right like Lazarus and you will be, you will be struggling with dogs. And for cramps, he was struggling with the dogs for just mere cramps. And some of us, we are living our lives for what? Cramps. You go to work, they give you cramps part-time. Every The money they give you, cramps, they, do, they give you lowest wages. The money you get, sometimes you get the money, and a problem will come and then devour everything. If you don't rise up and I ask the Lord, Lord, show me the way out of this misery. And it starts by your spiritual deliverance. Then God will begin to now begin to bring you to the place of wealthy places. Because wealthy people, rich people, financially independent people have a different mentality. They have a different mindset. Live their life differently from those who are also lavishing uh, uh, in, in, in poverty. And hardship and difficulty. May the Lord bring deliverance to you today. May the Lord bring light to you today. May the Lord shine light in your darkness. May the Lord loose you from the chains. May the Lord loose you from the shackles. May the Lord disconnect you from every evil cord. May the Lord break you loose from every evil altar of, of, of poverty, begging and borrowing. In the name of Jesus Christ. May you not die wretched. May you not be like this God-fearing man, prophet. And yes, still, creditors came for his children. To use them as slaves. You love the Lord all right. But you are always begging. Always lacking. Never enough. You have a good job all right. You have a good career all right. You have a good um, degree all right. But it's not reflecting. What have you done with your career? What have you done with your money? Everything. It comes. It goes. It comes. It goes. It comes. It goes. It comes. Don't you wake up to know that the altar in your mother's house, the altar in your father's house is fighting you. See, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, every altar, every altar of, poverty, of poverty, every altar, every altar financial hardship, financial every, altar every altar of begging, of begging and borrowing, and borrowing right, right now, down, in, the in the name of Jesus, of Jesus let, the let the altar in my mother's house, in my, mother's house, in my father's house, in my father's house disconnect house. myself. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. In the name of Jesus, I break myself loose and free from this evil altar. From this evil in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I renounce it. I renounce it. I denounce it. I denounce it. And I disconnect myself and I disconnect from these myself. altars by the blood of Jesus Christ. From this altar by the blood of Jesus. The altar will not speak against you anymore. Amen. The altar will not speak against you anymore. The altar will not speak against you anymore. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's read Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Galatians 3, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Christ Jesus is the antidote to these curses. Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to restore us 
in the garden of Eden, everything was provided. Everything that you need to make you complete in Christ was provided. And the devil came to steal it from us. And Jesus Christ, salvation is God reconciling you back to himself by cleansing you from your sins and restoring you to your former state as it was in the book of Genesis, in the Garden of Eden. So Jesus also came to restore us back to the original God's divine intention for us. So Christ came to take away the curse of begging, of borrowing, of poverty, lack and hardship, difficulty, sweat, fruitless effort and vain labor. Jesus Christ has come to take it. Today, believe Jesus, accept Jesus and ask him to come in and deliver you and break the curse from your life. Jesus comes to break it. So some the Bible says, as many as received him, he gave them what? Power. The power to become. Jesus, so Reverend K, how come I'm a Christian and I'm still impoverished? I'm still begging and borrowing. Because Jesus gives you the power to confront what is confronting you. You have received Jesus and you are sitting down. That you think it's automatic that you walk in blessing. No. As many as received Jesus, he gave them the power of the Holy Ghost to become and reflect the reality of God, the reality of the blessing, the reality of breakthrough, the, real the reality of prosperity. Jesus Christ in you now gives you power to break yourself loose from the foundational altars that captured your grandmother, your grandfather, your ancestors, and your parents, and is trying to also subdue you and dominate you. So now Jesus gives you power. So now you're able to come and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit, every altar in my mother's house, in my father's house of poverty, of begging, of borrowing, in the name of Jesus, I break the curse of my life. I break the curse of my children. I break my curse of my family. I break my, the curse and I lose myself in the name of Jesus because I'm a child of God. Now you are using your dominion authority power as a child of God to disconnect yourself. You must engage. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of by, Jesus divine authority, by divine authority, in the name of Jesus, in the name by, of Jesus divine authority, by divine authority, by the power, by the power of, the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, by the power, by the power of, your word, of your word, by the power, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the finger of God, by the, of by God, the hand of God, by the, hand of by God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, by the of every, the Holy Ghost curse every curse from my mother's house, from from my father's house, my father's house. Every, altar. every altar, from my mother's house, from my, mother's from my house. father's house, from my father's every, house. Bewitchment. every bewitchment, from my mother's house, from my, mother's from my, house. Father's, house. From my father's house, that controls me, that controls and, me. Causes me and causes me to be impoverished, to, be impoverished. To, beg. to beg, to borrow, to borrow. Never, satisfied. never satisfied, never having enough, never having in, the enough. in the name of Jesus, I break the curse, I break the curse, I break the curse. I break the curse. I break the curse. I break the curse. I break the curse of my life, of my children, of my family. In the name of Jesus. I break the And I release myself. I lose myself. I lose my soul. I lose my body. I lose my spirit. I lose my children. I lose my grandchildren. I lose my family. I lose my family from the bondage, from the bondage of the altar, of the altar, from my mother's house, from my mother's from house, my father's house. And my father's Be house. Be free in Jesus' name. Amen. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. It hasn't become a curse, for it is written, "Curses anyone who hangs on the tree." That the blessings of God may come to the Gentiles. Today. The Lord Jesus releases a blessing into your hands. Amen. You will not beg again. Amen. You will not borrow again. Amen. You will be a lender. Amen. You have more than enough. Amen. You have what? More, more than, than enough. enough. You will be satisfied. Amen. You will swim in God's prosperity. Amen. You will enter into your wealthy place. Amen. You will tap into your treasures. Amen. The Lord will give you more than you can handle. Amen. The heavens are open before you. Amen. To walk in the prosperity of Thank God. You, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to read. To read. 
Proverbs chapter 22, verse 7. The reason why we have to do this is because of Proverbs 22, verse 7. Very, very important. Today, something has happened. Today, I'm disconnecting you from evil spirit, from your mother's house, father's house. Evil, familiar spirit, altar spirit, the spirit of the altar. Proverbs, mm -hmm. yeah. Proverbs 22, verse 7. Yeah. The rich rules over the poor. The rich what? Rules. Over oh, the poor. See, I'll never be poor again. I will never be poor again. And the rich will not rule over me anymore. And the rich will not rule over me so anymore. So if the rich is an unbeliever, if the rich is an occultist, if the rich is a wizard, is if the rich is a, 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 a witch, they will rule over you. It doesn't matter who they are. As long as they are rich, they will use their position, whether they are into occult, into satanism, they are witches or wizards. They are into Freemason. As long as they are rich, automatically they will rule over you. So you see many Christians being ruled over by agents of darkness. You go to your work and somebody's ruling over you. If you were the supervisor or the boss, it would be different. But because an unbeliever who is into witchcraft and into new age, into sorcery, into, into, in, into, into, into different secret societies, is now ahead of you. They are ruling over you. Say so today, let that error be corrected. Amen. No, 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 no rich ruler will control me anymore. Amen. Continue. And the borrower is servant to the lender. The borrower is what? A, a servant. servant. And some of us, we become servant. We become servant because we are always begging and borrowing. Say today. Today. By the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. Every curse. Every curse. Of begging. Of begging. And borrowing. And borrowing. Is broken. Is broken. Over my life. Over my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have the anointing oil, I want you to anoint, 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 anoint your forehead and also anoint your hands. That from today, these hands will not beg and borrow anymore. Amen. Your hands will not beg and borrow anymore. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing. By the reason of the, the anointing. Bible says, the Bible says the yoke shall be broken. The yoke shall be broken. Every yoke. Every yoke of begging, of begging and borrowing, and borrowing is, broken. is broken. This hands of mine this hands of will, mine not beg anymore. will not beg anymore, will not borrow anymore, will not, borrow will anymore. not beg anymore, will not, beg will not borrow anymore, will not, borrow will, anymore. Not will not beg anymore, will not, beg will not borrow anymore. Will not borrow this hands of mine this hands of will mine. not beg anymore, will not, beg will not borrow anymore, anymore. Will not borrow in, anymore. The in the name of Jesus. Now give me the scripture, Haggai chapter 6, Haggai, and read Haggai one verse about the host, the host part. Haggai 1 verse 6. Okay, so. You, you read the whole just, thing and emphasize okay. on that part. You have sown much. You have sown much. And bring in little. And bring in little. You eat. You eat. But do not have enough. But do not have enough. You drink. You drink. But you are not filled with drink. You are not filled with drink. You clothe yourself. You clothe yourself. But no one is warm. But no one is warm. And he who earns wages. And he who earns wages. Earns wages to put into a bag with holes. A bag with holes. Holes. Mm -hmm. Now, spiritually, this is what happens. There are people who, whenever they get money, immediately the money touches their hands. The money disappears. Is consumed. Mm -hmm. Consumes. Spiritually, they, they burn it. So the money will never be able to do anything good. It will only solve foolish problems, nonsensical problems challenges that will take them backwards mm -hmm. because they have placed a fire that's one spiritual element two there are people also witches and wizards have poke holes cause spiritual leakage leakage mm -hmm. in their hands anytime they get money the money drops out of them and falls down mm -hmm. so they thought they've received the money by spiritual the money is not in their hands what they are carrying is, is empty. They are seeing papers. But the substance of the money has already fallen off. So because holes has been made in their hands. So everything that comes must disappear, must be lost. And that's why people keep on the money. Somebody can say, I've worked in this company for 10 years, for 20 years. And you ask them, what has this company done for you? Uh, they have not been able to buy a bicycle or even a car or even rent a house or... Do, because every time they get the money, it holds, it's falling. Then the third, some people, too, when they get the money, these Amalekites, these Midianites, these locals will come and snatch it. A witch will snatch it from their hands. 
they are stretching their hands to receive their money, but spiritually it has been snatched from them. Others also, when they get the money, tax, satanic tax collectors, immediately they got, the, they got the money, just as when you are your creditors are able to garnish your money, immediately they get the money, they spiritually, the demons will garnish the money, take the money from them. So they are, please, it's not the money you are seeing, it's the spiritual, that's why it's called currency, currency. Money has what? Money is called currency. It carries current. It carries current. It carries current. So if the current behind the paper money is disconnected, it's a waste. Whatever you are doing with it will not, will not be profitable. It will disappear in thin air. Even if you buy a car, they will repossess it. It will have an accident. It will have issues. If you buy a house, it will have problems. You will lose it. If you do whatever you do with it, because the current behind the paper has been destroyed. Yeah, like in Malachi, in Malachi. Says the devourer. In Malachi, it says that the devourer. Uh, do you want me to read? Read Malachi. Malachi 3, verse, eight, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want me to start from yeah. 8? Mm -hmm. Malachi 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. Yet you have robbed me. But you say in what way In what have ways I have I robbed we robbed you, God? The tithe and offering. In your tithe and in your offering. You are cursed with a curse. You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me. Because you have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Even this whole nation. Bring all the tithe into the storehouse. Bring all the tithe to the storehouse. That there may be food in my house. Yes. And try me now in this. And try me in this. Say the Lord of hosts. Says the Lord. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven. And pour out a blessing. Pour into your life such a blessing. That there will be no room enough to receive no room it. enough to contain it. Satisfaction, verse, verse 11, abundance, yeah. And I will rebuke the devourer. Now for I will your begin sins. to rebuke this devourer of Amalekite, Midianite, low cost, these evil altars that are after your money. And this time season, we will not learn about this different spirit, witchcraft spirit that are after your substance. I will begin to rebuke them. So now they can't come after the currency. The current behind the paper money. Money is a spirit. That's why it's called the spirit of mammon. Money is energy, power, spirit. So if the money you get, a spirit of God is not backing it and another evil spirit is backing it, they can garnish it and do as they wish. So that's why we serve the Lord with our substance and then the presence of God protect the currency of our money so that divorce, destroyers, because the virus yeah, because will yeah. not take the currency and cause us to always be impoverished, begging and borrowing. You want me to continue? Continue. So that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. So he will not destroy what? The, the fruit. fruit. So this Midianite and the Malachi that are destroying your effort, your labor, they are having access because nothing is rebuking them. Because you are not practicing kingdom principles that allow Jehovah to rebuke the devourer. So it doesn't matter how much you make. The devourer can come in. You can get a good job, get your masters, get your own destiny. If God does not protect it, you will lose it. You need God's spirit to back the currency behind your paper money. Otherwise, the devourer will come in and destroy whatever you sow or the labor. Continue. Nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit oh, your, for you in the field, mm -hmm. says the Lord of hosts. And all nations will call you blessed. And all nations will call you blessed. For you will be a delightful land. Amen. Says the Lord of hosts. Now you become a delightful and you are now called blessed. Because there's a spirit of God protecting what you get. Otherwise, evil spirits, evil authors will come after every man. Sometimes the reason why we make you sow seeds here and there, here and there, is to back, to allow the Spirit of God so that when the devourer is coming after your money, coming after your substance, God will rise and rebuke them because your altar is speaking against the Spirit. But here you are, you are accumulating so much and you are not engaging the heavens to back you up. It doesn't matter how much you get. These spirits will come and they will squander everything that you have. Also, when we read Matthew, um, Psalm 24. Psalm 24. So I, I spoke to you about how the divorce will come in and, 
And then let's read oh, Psalms 24. To go by, you mm. said that there's fire. There's, there's, there's a fire. Yeah, let's there's the a, first one. There's a fire. A fire that, that consumes, consumes money. There's a hole. There's a hole that the money that drops. causes man's money to leak out of your hands. And there's also the witchcraft spirit that comes and snatch the witchcraft money. spirit that comes to snatch and also garnishing spirit. spirit. And then you said the Amalekite, the um spirit will garnish your money before you even get to you. Yeah, and then the locus. And the locus. Yeah. And then in Psalm 24, verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord and its fullness. The world and do and those who dwell in it, yeah. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. You see, everything you and I are chasing for, it is in God. And he is the owner of everything. The Lord, the, the earth is what? The Lord's. And if it is his, the silver, the gold, the diamond, the treasures, everything is. I want you to come to the place whereby you have you have a partnership with Jesus, partnership with God, to be your Jehovah Jireh and your Jehovah El Shaddai, a God who is able to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory, a God who prospers you and bless you to fulfill his purpose for your life. He is able to do that, especially with this world that we are in now and where the world is going on. You can't depend on the government. You can't depend on the corporate organizations you need to learn to know god for yourself and believe god to be a provider for you in case you don't have a job or you have a job or whatever it is you you must be able to trust god like elijah trusted god and he was able to allow um birds to be feeding him bread and meat you have to trust god to the point where by this widow left with her last meal god sent him divine helper why because they trusted god come to that place whereby your sustenance your provision is from Jesus Christ as your soul provider, and you will never be in want. And the powers of darkness will never have any say in your life. Why? Because it is God who blesses. Yes. It is God who blesses. It is God who prospers. Mm -hmm. It is God who maketh one rich and has no sorrow. It's the blessing of God that maketh one rich yeah. and has no sorrow. I pray that the Lord will make you rich and has no sorrow. So now we talked about the hands, and some of us, our hands are cursed. That's what I'm saying. Some people, it doesn't matter what money you give to them. As long as the money touches them, it will rather be either be consumed and be devoured or the witches in their foundation or others in their foundation will snatch it from them or you give them the money and the money spiritually is falling off so they will never be able to do any good thing. So when they come begging you and you're feeling sorry for them, you know that next week they'll come back again. Two weeks again, they'll come back again because they haven't dealt with it. Somebody, that's your situation. It's not that you're not making money. You make the money, but you can't account for the money because these hands are cursed. In the same way, they are saying that hills have been made in their purpose. Some of us hosts take the oil right now, wherever you are. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27, that by the reason of the anointing, the yoke shall be broken. Anyone with a cursed hands, anyone with what? With a cursed hands. A cursed hands. We are praying that let every curse on your hands that cause that fruitless labor, vain labor, working hard but not seeing the fruit of your labor, causing you always to be unsatisfied, lacking and wanting, never having enough. You labor so much but you can't have and possess the things you work for because a curse is on your hands. And some of us is coming from my mother's house, it's coming from our father's house, it's coming from our own personal errors. But today, Jesus Christ, who was able to cure blind Bartimaeus from begging, the Lord Jesus Christ has come to break the curse Amen. out of your hands. Amen. From today, this hand will handle money. Amen. This hand will handle her money. Amen. Can you open to me, judges, whereby the thumb of the king was cut? Do you remember that place? Yeah. That was, um, yeah, that was judges. Definitely. Some of us, our, our hands cannot hold on to money because spiritually our thumb, you know, thumb this, it has been cut off. So we can't grip money tight. Anything you grip, they are able to snatch it from you. These demons snatch it from you because you can't. And that's why I feel pity and sorry for people who don't relegate God to the background when they get a breakthrough, a job some miracles or financial breakthrough and they don't keep on holding on to Jesus. 
read it to okay, me. So let me start from like where he was he was being pursued. Okay, so Judges one, Judges one verse six. Then Adoni Bezek mm -hmm. fled, and they pursued him, and they pursued him, and caught him, and cut off his thumbs. They cut off his what? Thumb, mm -hmm. thumbs, and big toes. Big toes, and he also said that and he has seven, also done it for others. Verse seven, mm -hmm. and Adoni Bezek said. 70 kings 70 kings with their tongues with their tongues toes cut off why was this king interested in cutting off people's tongue because for him to steal your riches he cut off your tongue and, and spiritually tongues. whatever will come to the toll some other time but his tongues represented that you can't handle money yes you become like a leper mm -hmm. you have something and this tongue is what allows you to possess some people cannot possess riches they cannot possess substance. They get a marriage, they'll lose the marriage. Yes. They get a job, they'll lose the job. They get money, the money will disappear. They get a breakthrough, they'll lose the break because the tongue, which is cursed, has been cut off. Continue. Like, um, like, like what Reverend K is trying to say that it's the tongue that holds things very firmly. Like in case you hold something in your hand, without the tongue holding it, very family anybody can snatch it can can, can easily it. take it out you, you, from you your can't hand. you can't hold anything so tight without your time so spiritually some of us the time is cut so you work you get a degree and they come and snatch your certificate no wonder it's nowhere to be found spiritually for you to even present it what you are what you are presenting the fiscal realm is just a tissue paper toilet paper the real certificate has been snatched from your hands the marriage certificate has been snatched from your hands, so there's confusion because they are in for your time. When your hands are cursed, they do so many things. And then there's also a demon that snatches. When you read, when David fought with this giant who has six fingers, and uh, he has six on each hands and six um, toes on each, there are also principalities that snatches money. I want you to hold your hands. I want you to anoint your hands and say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, by the anointing, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, every cursed hands, every cursed hands, whatever has cursed my hands, whatever has every curse I bear on my life, every curse I bear on my from life, my father's bloodline, from my father's bloodline, from my father's bloodline, from my father's bloodline, from my mother's bloodline, from my mother's bloodline, every curse, every curse, as a result, as a result of my own doing. As my own doing. Every curse. Every curse. As a result. As a result. Of my own sins. Of my own sins. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. I ask for your mercy. I ask for your mercy. I ask for your forgiveness. I ask for your forgiveness. Let grace. Let grace. And mercy. And mercy. Prevail. Prevail. And today, and today, by the power, by the power, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, by the power, by the power, in the blood of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus by the power, by the power of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost, by the power, by the power, in Jesus' name, in Jesus by the hand of God, by the hand, by the finger of God, by, the finger by of angelic God, enforcement, by the angelic let the power. Let the power of every curse, of every curse on these hands of mine, of these hands of be mine, broken in Jesus' name. In Jesus let every name. cursed hands. Let every curse that, I bear, that I bear be broken in Jesus' name. Be broken in by, Jesus the name. by the reason of the Lord, anointing. Lord, remove the curse Lord, remove the of my hands. Of my hands. Lord, remove the curse, Lord, remove the curse, Lord, remove the curse out of my hands. Out of my Let hands. the curse be broken. Let the curse be in the name of Jesus. In the name of Let the curse be broken. In the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken. In the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken. In the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken. In the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken of my hands, of my fingers, be broken. The curse of begging. The curse of, the curse of borrowing. The curse of borrowing. The curse of financial hardship. The curse of financial. The hardship. curse of financial difficulty. The curse of financial difficulty. The curse of poverty. The curse of poverty. Impoverishment. Impoverishment. Hardship. Hardship. Vain labor. Vain labor. 
unfruitful labor. Unfruitful labor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of let Jesus. the curse of difficulty. Let the curse of difficulty upon my life. Upon my life. Break this day. Break this day. Break this day. Break, this Break day. off my life. Break off my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Bless my hands. Bless my hands. Your word says. Your word says. If anyone be in Christ. If anyone be in Christ, he's a new creation. He's a new creation. All things are passed away. All things are passed away. Everything has become new. Everything has become in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I receive. I receive by faith. By faith, the blessing. The blessing of Abraham. Of Abraham through Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus upon my life. Upon my life from today. From today, bless me, O God. Bless me, O God. Bless me, O God. Bless me, O God. Prosper me, O God. Prosper me, O God. Favor me, O God. Favor me, O God. Release your riches. Release your riches and the treasures and the treasures into my life. Into my life. Whatever I touch. Time. Let me prosper. Let me prosper. Bless the works of my hands. Bless the works of prosper my hands. Prosper the works of my hands. Prosper the works of Let my me hands. be satisfied. Let me be satisfied. Let me have abundance. Let me have abundance. Let me be established. Let me be established in your prosperity. In your prosperity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today. From today. I am blessed. I am blessed and highly favored. And highly favored. And I walk. And I walk in your blessing. In your blessing. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You better believe it Jesus. and receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take our communion. Just believe. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. And you shall receive. Only believe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The blessing. The blessing. Father, as we partake of the blood. The blood is what establishes us with a new covenant. A new covenant has been established. Somebody, the curse is broken. Amen. I was thinking of going over tomorrow. God says the curse has been broken. Amen. The curse has been what? Broken. broken. We are moving forward. Amen. We are moving forward. Amen. Expect abundance. Amen. Expect a change. Amen. Expect open doors. Amen. Expect fruitful labor. Amen. Expect increase. Amen. Expect expansion. Amen. Expect expansion. Amen. Enlargement. Amen. Expect increase. Amen. Whatever you do, you will see the fruit of your labor. Amen. In the name of Jesus, no more. The Lord will rebuke the divorce in your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. And as we partake of the blood, mm -hmm. say in the name of Jesus, in the name of as, Jesus I as I partake of the precious blood of Jesus, of the blood of Jesus I, overcome I overcome the curse, the curse of, bear, uh, borrowing, of borrowing, begging, begging and, poverty and poverty of my life. Of my and, I and I receive the blessing, the blessing and, the and the prosperity of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ into, my life. into my life. I will not be a slave, I will not be a slave to, money, to money, but money will be a slave to me. But money will be a slave and I'll use my substance to bless the kingdom of God and fulfill God's purpose for my life. And fulfill God's purpose for in, my life. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Something has broken in your life today and begin to believe and walk by faith. Amen. Begin to believe and walk by faith. Amen. Begin. Also, read Malachi chapter 3, verse 8. And there's a principle. You have to be a giver. You know that once you give to the kingdom, God begins to open doors. Some of you also, God will begin to teach you and give you supernatural heavenly ideas as to how to come out of debt. God is going to give somebody divine favors. Amen. That some of the debt that the devil dug for you is going to wave, wave it and cancel it from you. Somebody, a money that was due you and somebody owes you money, but they were not bringing the money because today the curse is broken, the money is coming. Amen. The money is coming. There's somebody, Amen. an inheritance is going to be will to you. An inheritance in your family is going to be will to you in the name of Jesus. An insurance company that needs to release some money that has become back and forth is going to be released to you. Amen. Somebody, the demonic spirits have held up and back your finances. It's been locked up. And money you were supposed to receive three months ago, up to now, you've been looking forward for it. It's not coming. God says, I should tell you, he's releasing it right now. Mm -hmm. He's raising it right now. He's releasing it now, right now. The Lord is opening the treasures of darkness, opening gates for your blessings to begin to be poured into your life right now. Mm -hmm. Your divine helpers are coming in. Mm -hmm. 
to connect you with things that you do that will bring different streams of income. Mm -hmm. Now, when you make money, the, even if it is little, it will be enough. It will be so much. You will be able to do so much with it. Mm -hmm. God is going to give you supernatural intelligence to be able to handle money and you will make breakthroughs mm -hmm. in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the blessing. For the Bible says, it's the blessing of the Lord that make it one rich and it has no sorrow. There's somebody, there's been a leakages, leakages in your family, leakages, leakages in your, in your hands, in your life. And God is sealing those leakages in the name of Jesus. As you anointed your hands, those spiritual leakages were sealed by the blood of Jesus. Why the Lord has delivered you and somebody, you are going to receive you are going to receive promotion because God has come. Then, as we read, it says that you make what holes in what purses. I want you to take your wallet or your purse. Some of you men we use wallet. Use what purse. purse. Grab me your purse and grab me your how do you call it? Your wallet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Point it. That whatever has created holes in our wallet or whatever has created holes in our pocket, by the power in the name of Jesus, I seal those spiritual leakages. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we have big purse, but it's, it's only papers and stuff, no money. Now we are going to carry money in it. Mm -hmm. the, the wallet is big and it's only filled with cards and, and papers and complimentary cars and stuff but today your it, it will be you'll be carrying money substance in your wallet take your wallet yes you are going to anoint it that any spiritual leakage be sealed by the blood of jesus mm -hmm. be sealed in the name of jesus mm -hmm. no more my purse be leaking money or my wallet be leaking money no more will my finances be leaking out of my life in the name of jesus take your purse read it Haggai 1 verse 6. Mm -hmm. You have sown much. You have sown much. Little. You eat, but do not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourself, but no one is warm. Mm -hmm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. You are earning wages, oh. You got the money, all right. But when you put it in your wallet, in your purse, fiscal money. So you you got your money oh. and they wipe your cards. You have your in your purse or your wallet, thinking I have my 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 card here. It's connected to my bank. But what you don't know is that it is leaking out. It is leaking out. You have no money in your account spiritually. No wonder what you thought you had in. By the time you realize a problem here, a problem there, a problem here. By the time you sort all the problems back to ground zero, and you live from mouth hand to mouth hand to mouth give me this day my daily bread hand to mouth every day every day every day daily daily bread why because leakages in in, in press like this they leave a small hole but this one is not just a small hole it's a huge spiritual hole that causes everything to fall take your oil and you're going to pro uh, do this prophetic direction the heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I anoint. As I anoint. My wallet. My wallet. Or my purse. Or my purse. Let every spiritual leakages. Let every. Spiritual let every leakages. spiritual leakages. Let every. Spiritual let every spiritual leakages. Let every. Spiritual that leaks my money. That leaks my. That leaks my prosperity. That leaks my. Prosperity. That leaks my finances. That leaks my. Be sealed in the name of Jesus. Be sealed in the name. Be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Be sealed in the name of Jesus. Be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Have you anointed your purse? Yes. Be sealed in the name of Jesus. Be sealed by the blood of Jesus. Every horse that has been made in my purse, in my wallet, I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost, be sealed, be sealed, be sealed, be sealed. By the, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says that he will rebuke the devourer. If you have money, take the money. If you have a card, take the money. Take and say, card. as I anoint my card, as I anoint my or card. I anoint my money, 
or as I anoint my mind. From today, from today, let every devourer, let every devourer, every thief, every thief that comes to steal my money, that comes to steal my, I money, rebuke you. I rebuke you. You will not steal from me anymore. You will not steal. From every me. devourer, every devourer, every thief, every devourer, every, devourer, every thief every devourer, that comes for my money, that comes for my, that money, comes for my substance, that comes for, that comes for my finances. That comes for I my rebuke in the name of I Jesus. I rebuke you by the blood. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you by the blood. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you by the blood. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you by the blood. From today, you shall not steal from me anymore. You shall not steal my money. You shall not steal my prosperity. You shall not steal my riches. You shall not steal from me anymore. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Powers in my mother's house. Powers from my father's house, witchcraft spirit, local spirit, begging spirit, borrowing spirit, impoverished spirit. I overcome you in the name of Jesus. I defeat you in the name of Jesus. You shall steal from me no more. Say in the name of Jesus. I command my riches, my prosperity, wherever it has been locked up. Wherever it has been locked in up. the spiritual bank, in the spiritual bank. Come, to come to me now. Come to me now. Come to me now. Come to me now. I command my riches to come to me now. I command my prosperity to come to me now. I command my finances to come to me now. Every arm robber, every thief, return my goods, return my riches, return my goods, return my riches, return my goods. Return my riches in Jesus' name. Whatever the devil stole from me, I take it back by fire by thunder. By fire by thunder. By fire by thunder. I take back my prosperity. I take back my finances. I take back my business. I take back my job. I take back my substance, my properties, my inheritance. I take them back from you in Jesus' name. I take them back from you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, secure. Secure my blessing, my blessing in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 From today, may you. Oh, God is faithful. We've seen it. We've seen it. We've seen it. We, we, I, have, I, I have countless testimonies, even myself. One time, God had to teach me how to do this. I took my credit card. I used to swipe, and when I swipe, there's no money, and they will charge me $31, $35 for Over negative withdrawal. I didn't have the money. And I swap, and now they are charging me another. I said, God, how can I live this life this way? Every month, about five of them will come, negative 35, negative 35, because every time you were swiping, you didn't have money and you were swapping, they are charging you extra. The money I didn't have, and, lit, uh, I'm charged, uh, and they are charging me more. So I was going deeper, and I took this credit card, and the Lord gave me the prophet that I spoke over it. The father resurrected this credit card from coma. Resurrected from coma. Coma to state. And revive it. And the Lord brought breath. That's what I'm saying. There's what's called currency. 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 God begins to allow the heavens to release a currency to you. By the time you realize, you somebody after today, you will never struggle finding a job anymore. Do you know why you are struggling, struggling finding a job? Because the spirit of poverty, lack, and boring and wanting, they will never let you have money to be sufficient. So I know people who are rather pushing jobs off. The jobs are begging them, come, come for work. I'm tired. I don't want to come to job. I know one of my brothers who was also financially handicapped. He connected to us. He cut my hair every day. God's blessing came upon him. Today, every six months, he's changing jobs. He, he is changing. He's changing for higher, higher grounds. The Lord will change your level. Amen. The Lord will change your level. Amen. So some people are struggling to get a job because the spirit does not want them to get a job to be independent. But today, the case is broken. Amen. You will never struggle to get a job anymore. Amen. You will never be rejected another day. Amen. You will never be refused another day. Amen. You will never be disappointed another day. And there are some of you holding your jobs and you are afraid for your job. You can't be covenanted with God and believe in his word and be losing your job. Anybody who dares your job, your career, God will rebuke that devourer. Amen. God will rebuke that witch. Amen. God will rebuke that wizard. Amen. God will rebuild that associate Amen. that tempest with your career because you are a covenant practitioner. You give your tithe, you give your offering, you sow seeds, you believe in God, you serve God. God will defend his own. He will defend his own. You will never lose. Somebody's afraid for their job. 
take heart after this prophetic direction. Raise a sacrifice. Raise a seed. And anybody who dares your job, God will deal with them. Somebody struggling, getting a job. Raise a sacrifice at the altar. The father today, the curse is broken. I raise the sacrifice for a turnaround. I'm telling you, in the next coming week, you will get a job. They will call you and give you the job and give you compensation for restitution for everything you lost. You better believe God and do something crazy. Today, the curse is broken. I raise a sacrifice to turn my financial life and destiny around. You are struggling with a company. You are indebted with them. They are garnishing your money or they are threatening to repossess or, or take back something. You raise the sacrifice and say, Lord, arise for me. God will grant you favor. Either they will cancel it or they will come to you and begin to have a way of you paying an installment in the way you can handle it. And by the time you realize you are out of that hole, God will move supernaturally, 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 supernaturally. Somebody, I sense that somebody, God is going to give you a big contract that will take you away from all this financial burden in the name of Jesus. A burden that was requiring so much money that you were going to waste it. To raise a sacrifice and the Lord Almighty will come through for you in a mysterious way. Today, the curse of financial difficulty hardship is broken and as you key into this word, may the heavens be open and may you swim in God's supernatural abundance. His name is Jehovah El Shaddai, double-breasted God, all-sufficient God. He's able to supply all our needs according to his riches and gl glory. Through Christ Jesus, we better walk it by faith and not by sight. Believe God, and today you shall have more than enough, and you shall be satisfied. You'll not beg another day. You'll not borrow another day. You will be the lender. You'll be a blessing. Oh, somebody, your heart desire is always to help the ministry. God is going to bless be able to help the, and bless the ministry. Why? Because now, now, Jesus has visited you financially and turned your life around. It is coming. M write today's down. Write today's down in your Bible somewhere and say today the curse is broken. Find the scripture we use, Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, and write the day down and say today I heard this word. I believe in it. A sacrifice and the curse is broken. One day you go back and realize that your financial predicament has been lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God, we bless him, we give him all the praise for what he's doing to bring restoration, restitution, and recovery. We walk by faith. We walk by faith. As I'm speaking to you right now, I'm going to raise a sacrifice because I want God to take us to another chapter in our lives. When the word of God comes, you key into it and change your destiny and your life. Something abundance is coming to somebody in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tomorrow, our scripture reading is Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20 is our scripture reading for tomorrow. Revelation chapter 20. Also, please read this. If you have this book, read. Buy this book. Get this book. Anybody going to financial hardship and want God's blessing. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. We're supposed to touch about the locust, the locust spirit. The local spirit, if you have it, it's in page 66. But God said, today the curse is broken. So we don't have to even look at it. Tomorrow we are going to look into relationship, into singleness, into marriage, into singleness, into marriage, and how God can bring restoration. But today, but get this book and get more information as to how to work in the blessing and how to, you will learn, you will learn the principles. Yeah. There is nine principles mm -hmm. as to how to walk in God's God prosperity. prosperity. In this book, um, Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers, you have 30 dreams that shows that your blessings are under witchcraft or demonic attacks. You will learn the 30 dreams. There are 30 dreams when you have. It means that your finances, your prosperity is under demonic attacks. 30 dreams you will find and 35 prayer points. 35 prayer points to cancel negative dreams that attacks your finances, your prosperity. 35 dreams, uh, prayer point. And also there is a scripture you will use whenever you have bad dreams pertaining to your prosperity and your blessing. You also know how to overcome the four major causes of our poverty. There are four major causes. You will find it in the book. 11 witchcraft activities. You will also learn about the 11 witchcraft activities that destroys our blessings and our prosperity. Then you also learn about the 16 demons that attacks our finances and blessing. Today we dealt with some of them, but we have 16 demons. 
Prayers to overcome demonic operations against your blessing. Prayers. There's a prayers you pray and demons will not harass you in your... And then prayers to overcome witchcraft activities over, uh, coming against your finances. And then nine spiritual elements. The nine spiritual things to do to sustain, to maintain and secure your blessing in God. Get your copy. Get it for somebody and it will be a blessing to them. Deliverance from blessing destroyers. You can get it on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. 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 When you, you purchase it, uh, ebook or Kindle, it will be sent to your email and you can start reading it and get knowledge. During this time of restoration, God is restoring, restoring, and restoring our blessings, our prosperity, and our riches in Jesus' name. Those of you who are sowing the seed of faith, as you sow it, hold on to Malachi chapter. 3 verse 8, and also you also use the Haggai, the Haggai, the Haggai chapter 1 verse 6, and also Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Whenever you re release that faith seed, the faith seed towards your deliverance from, faith, from poverty, use Galatians 3 verse 13. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Has not become a curse to me? For it is written, curse is anyone who hangs on the tree that the blessing of Abraham may come to the Gentile. So from today, I walk in the blessings of Jesus. I can never borrow and beg anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Go to the website, www.freshfireprayer.com. Raise the faith seed and the Lord will visit you in Jesus' mighty name. Www freshfireprayer.com you can use the paypal the zell the cash app for the cash app it's fresh fire prayer fresh fire prayer god bless you and god willing tomorrow i'm going to deal with the powers that fight people's relationships and also marriage you sow into relationship but you harvest something else we will deal with it so for all the single ladies and all the married people who are not receiving back love respect and attention because these divorces are choking your marriage tomorrow we will deal with this issue and the lord will bring restoration that case of singleness that case of loneliness that case of unhappiness in relationship will be broken in jesus name so tomorrow trust god that father i've been single for too long i've been dating and i've been used and dumped for too long father tomorrow it's my day. Visit me and break the curse off me. Just as today he visited people and delivered them from begging, borrowing, poverty, hardship, and in, in financial sufficiency. Tomorrow is your turn. Come, believe God, and let us pray. And the Lord will do amazing things in your life. In Jesus' name. Shalom. Peace be unto you. Any further information, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. The key Anchor scripture, Galatians 3 verse 13. Everything we do, we do it based on scriptures. And, and also Malachi, Malachi chapter 3, 3 verse 8. 8. Malachi 8. 3 verse 8. And Haggai chapter 1 6. verse 6. Haggai. Tomorrow we meet at 11 p.m. Eastern time. 11 p.m. Eastern time every day. 4 a.m. for those of you in London and 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. Before you exit, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, KL Blessing and Fresh Fire Prayer Line. Subscribe to both channels. Click like, subscribe, share, and also invite people to join us for tomorrow. May God bless you and read uh, Revelation chapter 2 for tomorrow. Peace. Revelation chapter 2. So we'll be finishing Revelation very soon in the next two days. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bye. Bye. God bless everyone. God bless everybody.